guys, my name is Becca. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you guys my baby's Easter basket. Now we have it here. I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, if you don't know, I have a baby named Hayes. He will be a little over eight months old at Easter, so it'll be his first Easter and I'm just so excited. I think that Easter is definitely like the most magical holiday behind like Christmas. As much as I love Halloween, I think Easter has a different something special with little kids and stuff. Obviously, he's a little young still to really understand anything, but I'm definitely excited to get his Easter basket together because he'll definitely understand it a little more than he did at Christmas since he was only four months at Christmas. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of different motherhood and baby kind of content. So if you subscribe, you won't miss another one, of course. Also follow my Instagram down below. I'm on there constantly. So you'll see me a lot there and I just chat about all kinds of things, mama and baby. And we will get into his Easter basket. So starting out, there are a couple things that will not be in the basket but are still for Easter because when he gets up on Easter, I will have his Easter outfit ready for him, um, which is so cute. He's going to wear this. I think I actually have two different options. Let me get the other one quick. Okay, so he does have two options, which probably sounds a little crazy, but it's things that he'll still wear like through spring and summer. Just because it has a bunny does not mean he can only wear it on Easter. So I have this option right here, which is a cute little knit romper with a bunny and a bunny tail. I think it's so cute and he will keep wearing this through spring, don't worry. But I also have this knit one, which is Cat and Jack from Target and the onesie has little carrots on it and then it's just a knit romper again with a little tail. I think that this will end up being what he wears, but if we have any like family gatherings for Easter that are like not on Easter day since we have two sets of divorced parents he will end up wearing both of these anyway so it's fine but he'll also wear them through spring and stuff like that so don't worry um, but then to go with whichever outfit he wears for Easter I grabbed the holiday set from Copper Pearl not too long ago which came with a cute little Easter bib so this will be the bib that he wears it has bunnies and carrots which I just think is adorable so he'll have that on with his outfit so we have his Easter outfit Outfit. getting into the basket so starting out I should share we actually got a custom basket which I love I found it on zoo lily and it was $25 maybe something like that but it's a cute little bunny and it has his name on one of the ears and you can remove it and wash it or put it on a different basket so hopefully we'll get to keep this for years to come is the goal so the first thing we'll have in his Easter basket is his Easter card. I write a card to him for each of his first holidays and then I put it in his memory box. So I write it on that holiday though, so I'll write this on Easter for him. And then we are planning on going to the beach in May because that's when my husband is back from his uh, military training that he's at. So because we're planning on going on his first beach trip, I figured why not get him a bathing suit for Easter? So again, this is, I think, Cat and Jack from Target. I grabbed these cute little baby swim trunks that are so cute. They're like a seersucker, which I love. These are gonna be so cute on him. And since he is a baby, of course, he needs to have a little brush guard as well. So I got this one, which is also Cat and Jack, and it has that little shark on it, which I thought was cute. So this will go together. And I actually made him a sun hat bonnet to wear as well. So it's just a really pretty blue with white stars. And it basically just goes on like this. And this is kind of like a little visor. So it makes it more of a sun hat. Yes, I made this myself. I have been selling bonnets lately. So exciting. Um, I'll try to link the Instagram down below. I am going to start posting these, so if anyone's interested, definitely shoot me a message on Instagram or something because I have a bunch of patterns and I am slowly working on getting these. It's very hard being a stay-at-home mom with a baby, so I don't get much time to work on them, but I do have some patterns I want to put up. Moving forward, we have the fun stuff. That's all kind of the stuff more for me. Uh, we have the fun stuff here. We have a little bunny ear headband which i mean i know it's not that exciting but it's gonna look so cute i'm gonna put it on him for like his easter pictures so poor kid is gonna be in this like all day long um i found this at hobby lobby for like two dollars so and then there's a couple things from the target dollar spot because target 
comes through. We have this little bunny wand, which lights up. I don't know if it's catching it on camera. Um, but this is an item that having, you know, a baby that'll be eight months old, it's like he'll actually enjoy this. He loves things that lights up. He loves like waving things around and hitting things. So he actually will be able to use this. And it was like a dollar. Also for like a dollar, I found some Crayola bathtub paint soap. Um, in sky blue so it is supposed to be completely safe obviously to use in the bathtub and for babies to play with he might not completely get that right away but i do think that he's going to start enjoying playing with stuff like that in the bathtub very soon so i thought that this would be a good one to give a try to and if he likes them maybe we'll grab like those markers and stuff that can paint in the tub um but this will be his first one to try also from the dollar spot, I grabbed some bubbles. My little guy loves bubbles. We have a bubble machine that he loves, but my husband only lets me use it outside. So I got these ones that I can just blow inside for him. But um, tip, if you haven't tried bubbles with your baby, very good entertainment. After that, I grabbed the um, 12 count sidewalk chalk that Target has. It's part of their little Easter section. Um, again, this is one that he's not going to really play with for a while however uh, we will be going into summer and he will be anywhere from like eight months to 12 months through the summer so i think that he's definitely going to start loving to do this outside in the summertime um in just a little bit here so i definitely think that he'll have interest in them pretty soon after that you guys might recognize this if you've been here for a long time Last year on Easter, I did a video, I'll link it below, um, but it was my Easter name reveal where we revealed the first name for Hayes. Of course, that's going to go off. I want to know how many of my videos this clock has gone off during. But in that video where we revealed his name, there actually was this little chick slumberkin doll that i bought for the name reveal and he never actually like i've never given it to him yet but he has an alpaca lovey slumberkin and he loves it he goes to sleep with it on every nap and at night and he sucks on it when he sleeps he puts it over his face and stuff like he loves it so he never actually has gotten this yet so i thought it'd be cute to add this into his easter basket so now he'll have his little chick slumber kin doll that i actually got for his name reveal last easter so i decided i would throw that on in there for him after that i got his first straw cup we do sippy cups and he'll really be getting to that point where he should be able to start using a straw cup and it is buzz light air if you cannot tell um we love toy story in this house so he already has um he has a plush ham and he has a plush woody so I thought this would be super cute to get a little best light year cup. He watches this with his dad on the weekends, so cute. And lastly, I got two books because that is the best thing to grab for a baby. The first one is We're Going on an Egg Hunt. And I thought that was so cute because it's just like we're going on a bear hunt, obviously. But it's an egg hunt for Easter and it has bunnies. And then it also has like lip, lift up flaps for every page, which I think is very cute so that'll be fun for him to kind of start exploring that kind of aspect of a book and then this book is you're my little honey bunny and i grabbed this book um they make these for like every holiday so i did grab the pumpkin pie one for halloween i grabbed the christmas wish one for christmas so of course i had to grab the honey bunny one for easter so that i can collect all of the holidays my dog just hit the tripod. Um, but I wanted to collect all of these books for each holiday because they're just so, they're so precious. They have the cutest little illustrations. Oh, I love it. You put everything back. All right, you guys, and that is the Easter basket. I am so excited. It's so fun. Um, if you do a What's in My Easter Basket video for your kids, definitely let me know. Link it below. I will totally check it out. I love seeing these. I love seeing ideas. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite holiday is for kids. Mine's definitely Christmas, but Easter's like a close second. Um, but that is it for this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.